Hello, welcome. So uh, in this video, I am going to show you how you can create schedule orchestration uh, integration in which you can call BI reports and get the report output and send that output to email using notification. So let's get started. So first we need to create integration. So I have already created a SOAP connection. So uh, we will use that one, right? So let's get started. Create, I will select schedule orchestration. I will give the name. So name will be call BI report and send email for two. This is I have given them. You can give name any name, right? So let me hide for so now what you need to do is that uh, I will choose the layout as horizontal, it will be easy for me to instant and click plus icon and add your connection. So I have created this connection, added the connection and will give the name of, uh, so call report. So using this SOAP connection, I will call the report and get the output. And then I will convert the output, select run report, convert the output and send it over to email using that notification. So next, I will, I will use send attachment and request, sorry not, uh, accept attachment and response. Okay, nothing need to change. Next, I will click done. So I need to first map, so I will click on this and select here. I will map that report or map, or you can say you can enter, give the like details related to that. So what I will do, I will assign the path and I have noted down the path here. This is my report path, done. And then I need to select chunk data, data and it will be minus one. one. And I have one parameter in my report, so I will give parameter over here. So, so parameter name, so create node and parameter name. Now this one done and now I need to give the value. So here create and inside that value I will select suppose zero zero one is my parameters value. Done. Sorry, not over here in item. Oh, sorry, not minus one values. I don't require here. So I don't take it. Everything is done. Item values we have given. So now it's time to validate. Close. And now I need to convert this. Uh, output right uh, once uh, this soap will call bi report it will generate output in base 64 right i need to convert that output so for that i will create one stage file that stage file will convert the output and store on it in xml and all so here i will select a stage right stage next uh, right i will give the name so Write file zero two dot XML. I need to store value in XML format and 
and click on save okay exit builder then give the path name write file path 02 you can give any name and save now both are done need to go select xml next select opaque file that will convert that xml uh, base 64 into whatever i have selected earlier xml and all now done now i need to map click on this so for mapping i have soap call report soap response and i will response map the response byte code report byte with opaque schema it's done close validate and now close and uh, yeah now i need to send this value of this stage file to our email so i will select a notification i will add it here and the name email create i need to enter address from so we have no reply at oracle.com validate close I need to insert two. I will send over my email. So eronzafar at email.com. If you have another email, just insert comma here and type your another email. So validate, close. And remember, you can assign this kind of values using any dynamic values, right? So here I will give test email notification validate close no i got error because i need to insert all these in dual quotes so i will click on validate close now i need to enter message so hi this is test body regards or it calls support whatever i think and i need to attach get add attachment click on here and I will select write file, write stage file IFSC and here we have file reference. Just click on here. Validate, close. And now it's time to validate again, close. Now I need to remove this error because of tracing. So I need to enable tracking, save, save, close, activate. Everything is enabled, activate and schedule. I will schedule phones and the time is 10.13. Now save. So it's already 10.13. So let me select 10.14 or 15. Back, click on this, run. Okay, so it's time already 13 sorry i need to change it will be 14 save back run confirm click here now i will track the status so it's in queue because it's not have correct time so at 10 14 it will start so we need to wait for a while so let's run yeah once it will be 10 14 it will automatically run because we have scheduled it right so just wait for 10 14 as you can see it's 10 14 it's already running and it's in process so success click here we will see is there any error so no there is no any error right so as i have to check my email so let me check so let me check here so here you can check right i have not opened my email here that's why if you will see notification sent to the following details this is the notification i have we have mentioned here and email attachment click on this attachment you can see whatever attachment we have sent so we have sent the file name right so let me change the email 
then in which in this laptop whatever email open i will show you right integration back back process not integration integration let me deactivate again edit go to notification click on edit i need to change the email and validate close validate close save and close and now it's time for activate and schedule so it's 10 15 i will execute at 10 16 16 save back okay it's 16 it will not run it will show error because it's 10 16 already so i will need to schedule at 10 17. In 17 and you can see that you can select the frequency different different frequency right so i need to run only once so i have selected once let me select confirm so now it will run click here yes it in, is q right now when it will be 10 17 it will automatically execute or process start processing so let me show you the email right now i have tested many times that's why it's zero so right now you can see that i have seen all so i am waiting for new email right so yeah you can see that it's 10 17 and it started processing so just it will take very less time done processing is completed and you can see the sound twin so click here so that you can view and everything is successfully right let's again click so that i can see the message yeah you can see the attachment and details right so now i will go to email and check so you can see that this is the email when you come to 22 17 it's right now 17 click on this you can see that this is the body whatever i have mentioned this is the cc and this is the attachment so click on this this is the values of my report output right in xml so i need to change i can write programs on integration to change that to excel and all so i will create a separate video for that thank you so much